everyone welcome back we are going to see what is a sales cycle stages in business central so the sales cycle is a framework that outlines the progression of stages from initial contact with a potential customer to the closing of sales it helps in managing sales opportunities methodol methodologically and by tracking their development through various stages each with specific requirements and tasks so let us see in a detailed manner so before that i would like to tell tell you that this is my blog you can find the link in the description i'll be updating this blog about the detailed descriptions of how to create a um, sales and everything so you can find the blog try, try to join try to follow the blogs and this is my channel if you haven't subscribed yet please go and subscribe now this is my channel why should you subscribe because you can find various important playlist for the business central a functional consultant technical developers and everything here so you can find it here so you can find the complete playlist here okay so and if you have any queries and if you wanted to connect with me you can just you can just send you can just schedule a call here so this link is also available in the description and this is the ebook store so if you need an interview questions in business central um like um uh, al programming business central developer functional techno functional and tableau power bi and everything please you can use this the link is also in the description so let us see how to see the sales cycle so this is business central um, uh, role center page this is a home page so once if you click this search icon so you have to just select here search and check for sales cycle so you can see the sales cycle option here so just click on the sales cycle so in the sales cycle you can see an option called stages okay just click on the stages um you can see the stages here okay the stages are mentioned these are the default stages which are there in business central so the first one is initial the starting point of an opportunity where the contact is made or the lead is identified so the completed once it is completed it will show you the percentage okay the completed percentage okay and reflecting the early stages of the life cycle so here you can see change chances of success an activity it is an initial activity okay so you have these uh, types of activities which are there so you can make it as initial and whether the uh, quote is required or whether you can skip this particular um, stage or something so you can do that and finally if you want to add the comments you can add it the second one is the presentation this is where a presentation of the product or services is made to the potential customer it indicates a further development Uh, or the further developed interest represented by the higher completed percentage, which is fifty percentage here. Okay, and uh, chances of success is forty, and this is a presentation work. The next one is the proposal, a stage where formal proposal or a quote is submitted to the customer. It has been higher completed percentage and a higher chances of success as the deal is nearing to the closure. So you can see this is the completed percentage is higher and the chances of success is also higher. And finally, this is a signed contract, the final stage where a contract is signed, and the, and the sales is closed. It has the highest completed percentage of rate, which is ninety five percentage, and the chances of success is hundred. So each stage has an associated activity code. So you can see, um, you have an activity code here. Okay, so this is the code. So once if you click here, you can see the code here. Okay, which may corresponds to the specific task and the processes that need to be completed before moving to the next stage. These codes facilitate tracking and consistency consistency in managing opportunities. So. the sales cycle configuration that is the completion percentage this completed percentage reflects how far along the opportunity is within the same cycle the chances of success this shows the uh, the probability of successfully closing a sale at each stage and this is the activity code a reference to predefined activities that might be required to each state stage and this is a quotation uh, code required okay so this uh, this marks whether the quotation needs to be presented to the customers or not okay whether it is required or not 
and this allow skip um, determines whether the stage can be bypassed under a certain circumstances and the next one is the date formula could be used to establish a timeline for when task within a stage should be completed and finally it is a comment okay so if you want to add a specific comment you can add in the each stages and this is an analyze so the analyze is um, uh, ai ai uh, the, uh, ai component which is added to business central um, this will perfectly work in a different scenario so and um, let us go to the if you want to create a new uh, new stage okay just just click on the stage and make it as five and just give some stage description you can just uh, stage uh, give the stage description like something and you can assign the percentage if you want to just go ahead and give it uh, the percentage and you can assign it here and if you want to do the activity code um, you can just uh, mention the activity code okay um, proposal or proposal task is already there um, okay so you can just make it like this okay and you can just tell like which one should uh, be the first one like initial if it you if you just if if it is like a initial stage uh, this is the completed stage okay so you can just make it like that or else you can add it here as well like simply click here and add this is the sixth stage okay probably so if you want to if you want uh, to delete any st any particular stage you can delete it okay by default these four stages will be there if you want to delete any other stages you can also do that so in practice a business would configure its sales cycle and a business central to match its unique sales process for instance a company selling custom software solutions might have detailed tasks under each stage such as requirement gathering which is the initial stage okay so this will be the requirement gathering software demo in the presentation stage submission of detailed project scope in the proposal stage and the final legal checks in the signed contract stage this structure ensures that the sales team follows a consistent approach improving efficiency and forecasting accuracy by meticulously setting up and tracking each opportunity through these stages businesses can get a clear view of their sales pipeline make informed decisions about resource allocation and ultimately aim to improve their conversation right so that's all about the sales stages okay so you can just uh, try to create a sales cycle stages this is what the today's exercise for you so create a sales cycle stages um, imagine that you are uh, uh, selling a manufacturing product so what are the sales cycle stages you you would require so you have to plan and do that so um, if you have any other queries you can just let me know we will discuss this in the next next um, video probably so don't forget to check the links which are given in the description because that will be useful for you so if you want to uh, if you have any other specific topics in your mind please leave that in the comment section thank you take care and bye bye